Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another episode of CSGO News. This episode is all about the future of the CSGO trading market and what it could be. I do want to clarify though before I start the video today guys, I want to talk about maybe not buying your CSGO skins, but instead you can actually rent your CSGO skins. This could be a future concept to be instilled, but I do want to tell you as well that the website I'm going to cover in today's episode will be a website known as LootBear.com. This is not a sponsored video. I'm actually going to warn you to not use it maybe in the future and be a little cautious when using them if you actually do want to sign up for their website. Going forward, I'm going to try and overview the entire thing and you guys can let me know in the comment section down below whether you think it's a scam or not. In my own personal opinion, guys, I think this website, LootBear.com, might indeed be a scam. Although the future of CSGO trading, the future of the CSGO skin market could definitely use this idea. The idea that kids out there, teenagers, people without credit cards, instead of having to go out and pay overwhelming prices for an entire CSGO inventory, instead you pay a small rental fee per month to actually rent those CSGO skins. The idea is, is genius, but I'm not sure this is the website you want to use. So here's the future of that, guys. We're going to overview the website and you can leave a comment down below whether you think this website's actually legit or not. I do expect other websites out there to maybe make a ripoff of this idea and hopefully do it legitly. And uh, again, here we're going to overview the plan. So if you guys go to lootbear.com, this is the first thing you're going to see. You can sign up for a free week trial. If you guys do though, you do have to actually add a payment plan, whether it's a credit card or some other currencies they do accept. So kind of a, a bit skeptical right off the bat, you cannot do a free trial unless you actually add a payment method. No big deal there. They also offer three separate packages for all of your rental needs. Their first package, the bronze package, is only $3.99 per month. And if you do sign up for their one week trial, this is actually what you get up to $200 in items. That's actually four items total of up to $50 in value each. And that's the $3.99 plan. So again, you can get a, a decent knife and maybe some other decent weapons as well. Then you go up to their silver package, guys, their second package offered. It's actually $8.99 per month. And this actually jumps you to $800 in item value, eight items up to $100 each. And then all of a sudden, their, their best package on the website, which seems a bit extreme, the jump here from, from, bronze to, uh, from bronze to silver to this one is immense, guys, for just $14. $14.99 per month, which is not much at all. You know, I guess it's a little bit more than your Netflix subscription, but you can actually get for just $14.99 a month, guys, you can get an inventory value of up to $20,000. That's 10 items up to $2,000 in value each, which is, just seems to me to be a bit of a weary jump. I'm a bit skeptical about that one, guys. You go from $3.99 to $8.99 for $800 in skins, and all of a sudden you're jumping to $20,000 in skins for just $14.99 a month. Although that being said, guys, if it is legit, that's a great deal. On top of that as well, they also offer another payment plan out there for all of you guys who wanna send your skins to the website. They will also offer to pay you if, you if they can actually rent your skins out to other players. So if you're a very wealthy player, you can actually send your skins to the website. They rent out your skins to other players and they pay you then via PayPal cash outs. Now, this could be a bit wary. What's to, what's to say people don't, don't won't just actually steal your skins away? Apparently, of course, they have your credit card on account. So I imagine if people People actually steal your skins or if you try and steal the website skins they have your payment information and therefore they can probably legally charge you for whatever you do steal from them which is probably the only protection plan they do offer who knows if someone signs up with a faulty credit card it does get through who knows what happens there the, the apparently though they do have a seller and buyer protection plan here is installed so yes you can actually make money through this website as well as potentially rent out your CSGO skins instead of going out to actually buy your own CSGO skins but I do also want to say here are the sketchy parts about the website and why I think it might be a Scan. So first of all, when you go to their main website and you scroll down and go to their Facebook, allegedly their Facebook has over 133,000 likes. Although when you go to several of their posts, there's only a few posts on here. It's kind of uh, kind of weird. They only have actually less than 10 posts on their Facebook page, over 133,000 likes. And when you go to each and every one of their posts, they're kind of random gifts and images there. Only a few of them actually break 100 likes and a few comments on each. And also you guys can see apparently one person did not like their withdrawal system and she was already scammed after, after her first time renting the items. I'm not sure if that that was a legit comment, but yes, a lot of their posts don't receive very many comments, five or six comments here and there, just barely over 100 likes, some of them with only 20 or 30 likes as well, and then you have, of course, random comments. Apparently, this guy thought they were hilarious. I don't know if he's trying to, to beg for some free subscriptions there. On top of that, though, as well, their Twitter is also very similar. Although far less followers on their Twitter, it's not active at all. Actually, only a few posts on their Twitter since it's been created. Of course, this might be a newer concept. It does make sense, but if it is that new, if it's only a month old, how do they already break 133,000 likes in their their Facebook page. I understand that the few thousand Twitter followers, that's not hard to achieve. But on top of that as well, yeah, that was an incredibly overwhelmingly popular giveaway there. Wow, a whole two favorites or two retweets. Yeah, I can tell they, they really have a lot of traction here. On top of that as well, they also have a platform that you can actually sign up for if you're a streamer or a YouTuber, as I am. You guys are watching me on YouTube. I did sign up for that six or seven days ago. I have yet to receive a response from their team at all. They've also not responded to any of my Twitter DMs or my Facebook messages or any of my emails. So either they're un unresponsive 
altogether or they just don't want my partnership which I, I I think they'd like to respond to anyone especially if you have a decent following I have a I know a decent following here I think they'd want to respond if I offer some free support for them so no responses at all from these guys and I am a bit sketched out by that I do think it's kind of buffed advertisement if it's not fake advertisement the fact their Facebook page has so many likes are on that and then again no really big following there either so I'm kind of confused what do you guys think about that also though the kind of the the sketchiest part of all if you guys do try to sign up for their one week trial and go to their website they do also show this apparently a 4.9 star average review with over 5200 responses or 5200 reviews and I find that very hard to believe again if you guys go back to their Twitter they have just over 6,000 followers or around that but somehow 5200 reviews on their website 4.9 star average I think that also might be faked so again please be wary guys I would not suggest using this website until I get a response from them and see if they're legit if you guys know anyone who's actually used this website or actually tried to sign up let me know in the comment section down below if you think they're legit I would say be suspicious going forward I hope this concept is actually real but there also could be a huge altercations in the future and again I do plan on, on some other website and probably ripping this idea off and making it legit. Would this affect the skin market though? I know it's actually a really great idea for all those kids out there that I know that would love to pay, you know, five or six bucks a month for a couple hundred dollars in skins to make their inventory look very cool. It's a very cool idea and I hope it does come sometime soon. There could be a problem though. Would it affect big prices? Would it cause prices to crash? I guess we'll see in the future. So leave a like or comment down below what you guys think about today's episode. I hope you guys all enjoyed and as always, I will see you guys all tomorrow with a weekend recap. I push back the weekend recap video for this video to get out there so you guys uh, hopefully don't get scammed. So hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all for the comments and likes down below. As always, my name is Jake Mariah like you. I will see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.